We're good? Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> no, okay, no, now we're not good. Okay, I think we're good. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the fourth episode of the Firebase Database for SQL Developer series. In this lesson, I'm going to write eight SQL queries and then convert them one by one to Firebase queries. So let's dive right into the laptop. So right here, I have a file called query.sql. And at the top, I have an example table of users. And at the top, we show the columns. So we have UID, which is the primary key. And then we have name email, age, and location. And then below, we have two sample rows of a user named David and a user named Alice. And below this is the list of the eight queries that I'm going to write. And then next to this file, I have another one called query.ts. And ts stands for TypeScript, which in this case is essentially just JavaScript for us. And I'm only using TypeScript because it's going to give us some awesome code complete in the browser. So right here, I have an example uh, data structure for the Firebase database. So we have a parent key of users. And then below the parent key, we have individual child keys for each user. And this is the same list that we have on the previous page. So let's go back and let's start writing some queries. So the first one is select a user by UID. And this is probably one of the most basic things you can do, is select a record by its primary key. So to do that, we'll say select star from users where UID is equal to one. And this will pull back the row for David. And so if we wanted to do this in the Firebase SDK, well, we see that we have our user's key and then we have our child key of one. So to do this, we would create a root reference first. And I'm gonna do this up top so every single query can also use this root reference variable. So const root ref is firebase.database.ref. And so this root ref points to every single piece of data in the database. And then using this reference, we can then nest down to any child references. So I can say const one ref, and I'm calling it one ref since it's the first query that we're writing. And I'm going to say that it's root ref dot child of users. And so users is our parent key. And at this point, if I want to go from the parent key to the child key of one, I can just call dot child again, and we are at the first key. And this is the same thing as saying select star from users where UID is equal to one. And if we wanted to retrieve this user, we could just do that by attaching an on value listener or something like that. But right now, I'm just going to keep it to the reference. So the second query is find a user by an email address. And this is almost exactly like the query from above. We can say select star from users where email is equal to alice at email.com. And this will select our row for Alice. So how would we do this in our Firebase database? Well, we'll create a reference again. And we first need to get to the reference for users. So root ref dot child of users. And we can't call dot child again and nest down because we can only nest down to the keys that we know about. So what we can do, though, is use one of the ordering functions. So we can say order by child and then specify email. And at this point, we can say equal to, as is our querying function, and say equal to alice at email.com. So we're getting to the user section, we're ordering by email, and then we're looking for the email that is alice at email.com. So back to our SQL file, our third query is limit to 10 users. And this one is also pretty easy. We say select star from users limit 10. In the Firebase database land, we'll create a reference to our parent reference. So const3ref is root ref dot child of users. And then we will say order by key, because this will order by all of the child keys, and then say limit to first 10. And actually, the real-time database SDK is really smart for us. So we can actually get rid of this order by key, and it will infer it for us. 
So the next query is get all users whose name starts with the letter D. So in SQL, I can do this using a like clause. And so I could say select all from users where name is like capital D and then a wildcard. So now using the Firebase database SDK, I'll create a reference to our users reference yet again. So root ref of child of users. And now we want to order by child and specify the name. So we're querying based upon the name. And at this point, I can use the start at querying function and say start at the capital letter D. And this will retrieve everyone in the database whose name starts with the capital letter D. Now, sometimes there are problems with dealing with Unicode. And so you want to make sure you're getting back everything within the Unicode range. And so to do that, you can actually say end at and then say capital D slash UF8FF. And UF8FF is at one of the highest points in the Unicode range. And so by doing the start at end at range, you make sure that you're grabbing everything that starts with the letter D. So now the next SQL query is get all users who are less than 50. So we'll say select star from users where age is less than 50. Now back in our Firebase database file, we'll create a reference to our users. So create a, another reference, root ref dot child of users. And now I want to order by the age. So order by child of age. And I can say dot end at and put 49. And the reason why I'm saying end at is because we're essentially saying order by all the children, but let's not go any higher than the children whose ages are greater than 49. So we won't hit anyone who's 50. So that is less than 50. So the next query is get all the users who are greater than 50. So this is pretty much the same query. We can just go and copy and paste it. So select star from users where age is greater than 50. So back in the other file, we'll create another reference because remember, we always have to create a reference to the parent key. In this case, that is users. We'll order by child of age. And now I will say start at 51. So this is similar to the previous query we did. In this case, we're saying order by child of age, but let's only start retrieving the children once their age is 51, because 51 is greater than 50. Now the next one is get all the users who are between 20 and 100. So to do this range query, I'll say select star from users where age is greater or equal to 20 and age is less than or equal to 100. So this is similar to using the start at or end at, but we're actually going to use them together. So we'll create our reference. So root ref dot child of users order by age. And we want to start at 20. And we want to make sure we're actually starting at 20 because our range is between 20, so 20 equal to 20 or greater, and then less than or equal to 100, so dot end at 100. And the last query, number eight, is get all users who are 28 and live in Berlin. So to do that, we'll say select star from users where age is equal to 28 and location is equal to Berlin. So we'll jump over to the Firebase database file and we'll say const 8 ref is root ref dot child of users. And so you might be thinking, OK, well, the first part of this clause is users who are 28. So I'll say dot order by child of age and say equal to 28. Then the second part of this is users who also live in Berlin. So I'll say order by child of location. 
and say equal to Berlin. But this query right here will actually throw an error. And the reason why is because you can only use one ordering function in the Firebase SDK. So how do we get users who are 28 and live in Berlin? So whenever you structure data in the Firebase database, you want to do so with your queries in mind so you can optimize your data structure for the questions that you're going to ask it down the line. So taking a look at this data structure, we have users and then the child key is their UID. So the quickest fix we can actually do right now is combine the age and location keys together and create our own index. So to do that, we can say age underscore location and set that to 99 underscore SF because 99 is the age and the location is, a, is SF. And then in the second user, we can do the same thing again, age underscore location and the age is 28 and the location is Berlin. And then now down here, we can just move back to using one order by method and we could say order by child of age underscore location equal to 28 Berlin. And just like that, we are getting users who are 28 and who live in Berlin. So that's all for this lesson. If you found it helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And you notice in this lesson, we wrote eight different SQL queries and then converted them all to Firebase queries. But we only queried one table in the SQL database and just one collection in the Firebase database. And coming from a SQL database, you're probably used to writing joins where you can join multiple tables to get one result set. So how would we handle joins in the Firebase database? Well, stay tuned to the next lesson where we'll cover that in depth. So that's all, and I will see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching our video. You might also want to check out this video or even this one. I like that one. And make sure to subscribe. And then now uh, you just watch me try to catch popcorn in the mouth. Oh, two in a row. <laughs>